It will be a special moment at the White House later today when a soldier receives America's highest military honor. Former Army Captain William Swenson receives the Medal of Honor for risking his life time and again to save his fellow troops during one of the most brutal ambushes in the war in Afghanistan. There's dramatic helmet cam video that shows Swenson lifting his badly wounded comrade into a medevac helicopter in the desert, stopping to kiss him on the forehead before returning to the fight. Jennifer Griffin's live at the Pentagon watching his story today with more on the story of Captain Swenson. Jennifer? Hi, Bill. Well, this was one of the most vicious battles in Afghanistan, but for Army Captain William Swenson, the first Army officer to be given the Medal for Valor since Vietnam, it is particularly bittersweet because he believes the strict rules of engagement and a delay in sending air support cost U.S. troops their lives. Five Americans were killed, two dozen injured. This is the same fierce battle in the Ganjagal Valley for which Marine Sergeant Dakota Meyer was given the Medal of Honor two years ago, September 8, 2009. The U.S. team was en route to meet some Afghan village elders. They were ambushed and trapped by more than 60 Taliban. The battle lasted seven hours. Could I have done anything different? No. But could I always hope that the outcome could have been different? Yeah. The real question is, could the U.S. Army have done anything differently? Uh, two of the commanders of Captain Swenson have been reprimanded, and some think that that is the reason that his Medal of Honor uh, award was delayed, Bill. See, so he, sh he could have and should have perhaps been recognized years ago? That's right. It's currently under investigation by the Army. Awards like this don't get lost unless someone wants it to. In essence, Captain Swenson was nominated for the Medal of Honor at the same time Dakota Meyer was, but his nomination was, quote, lost in the Army's bureaucracy for 19 months. Most agree that it was because Captain Swenson, who was retired early, by the way, spoke up and complained loudly and bitterly. His two commanding officers were reprimanded for their inaction that day. The real tragedy of that day is that instead of being awarded for his heroism four years ago, Captain Swenson feels he was ostracized by the Army and attempt to discredit him. He has been out of work, unemployed since retiring two and a half years ago, Bill. And Jennifer will watch the ceremony later today. What a story. Jennifer Griffin from the Pentagon there. Martha.